and we're out here at the uh, Loveland, Colorado, the Mountain West Overland Show. We're trying to figure out how to get cleaned up. We ran across the geyser group, and this is your name? Jonathan. Jonathan. And did you say you're the inventor of this thing too? Or? Yes, I'm the inventor and the CEO of the company. All right, so if you're out there and you're, you're, worried, you know, you're trying to figure out how I get cleaned up, it's not a shower or even a toilet inside a lot of these little trailers. Tell us how we can do it with this. Yeah, so a um, couple steps back, we'll always have plenty of food and propane, but water is normally the first thing to run out, right? Okay. So the problem that we saw is that we need to make the most of every drop of water, and that's what the geyser system does. You can now shower two people with 0.8 gallons of water. I'm gonna Not let at that the same time, in. unless they're, yeah, <laughs> I hear you. So this 0 .8, 0 0.8 gallons you, will later. last you up to 15 minutes of wash time. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you first take two liters of cold water, you dump it into this, all right? And then I designed it around our favorite camping stove. So Jet Boil, MSR, BioLite, there's a couple of great ones, but all you need is a liter of boiling water and top it off here. And then you have a pump that gives you consistent pressure from beginning to end. And it's great because it'll continuously sense and adjust the pressure as you're showering. Um, Keep last... going, yeah, because we tested this a little bit before. Keep talking, I'll put it near so they can hear it. Yeah, and so instead of a shower head that's blowing water everywhere, water comes exactly where, is exactly where you need it with this sponge. And I'm gonna slowly, slowly adjust this valve and um, you'll see the water come out. We got a smooth side and a rough side, and uh, these are really easy to interchange. So you just pop it off like this, and then you got different colors. So I got a yellow one for me, the green one's for you, this pink one is for the dishes, and now we've got our base camp all organized. Did you think of that right from the get-go? From the very Daddy beginning. Bob, good yep. deal, cool. Now, for some people out there- if And you, here's all the different colors. Yeah, you got a couple different color sponges. Uh, the, the, the sun's getting them a little baked, but the Mylar bags is gonna allow you to protect it in between uses. And these sponges are available at REI stores everywhere if you need to replace one. They, I use mine every day for 90 days. As long as I let it hang, it still works great. For people who want to have a uh, an alternative to their existing shower system, because you know, like some slide-in campers, they already got a shower stall, but they want to conserve water. And so some people come to us and say, hey, I love the geyser, but really all I want is the tubing and the sponge. And so for those people, we've got a different design. It's right here. This is called the Geyser Eco Shower. Um, all you gotta do is just pop off the shower wand at the end of that hose line, screw this on that shower hose, and then uh, this is a flow control valve. And then right here, you've got a sponge that is really great. It's a lot larger, so it carries a little bit sure. more water. And what's really cool is that they're really easy to interchange. So right here, you've got a can that inserts in and then expands inside the stitching. We got different colors of these as well. Uh, what's really cool about this product is that we have a couple of aromatic essential oils that you put inside the sponge ahead of time. That's what I was thinking about ahead of time too, like whether it be soap or what have you, right? Like yep. soaps, you don't want to put that in here because then you can't rinse. Absolutely. So you put it in there, right? Yeah, and the essential oils that we give with this, okay. they are super intense. Like your entire rig or even your house is going to have a very aromatic smell and it's a... Uh, so you're going to smell really, good. Oh, you're going to smell so funny. Point in the trip. <laughs> <laughs> but, and I'll say like, some people actually came back to us and said like that was intense yeah that was way intense but but we made something that is really special for everyone um, let me so, speak in it. so that's universal is yeah. it longer than this so we have two different options okay. this is assuming that you already have a hose line and it's just so it just goes to the hose line yep. yep I was thinking almost in the pause but beyond the hose line yep that's universal but if you have a shower head yeah um, we have a longer hose line yeah. version that attaches to, to the do it that way you yeah. said that and then how is this powered <laughs> great question all uh, the units are powered through a 12 volt USB so all you need is a cigarette socket you can use any any cigarette socket that you have available in your rig 
We have two different models. Sure. So the model that you're looking at right now has a heating element inside. Okay. It retails for three fifty. Okay. This model right here is our standard model, and it's got uh, it, the only way to heat the water is with your jet boil. It takes a minute or two. We've all done it. I tell people like save the money for two eighty. That's this the is one super I bought convenient. right there. Yeah. Yeah, and one of the things that I really tell people is if you got a family of four, sure. get the cheaper of the two because you will use your jet boil your camping store and here's why let's just say like you're showering while you're showering i got my liter boiling in the background by the time you're done i've got mine ready to mix i'm showering now we got another liter boiling in the background for someone else so that way everyone can get super clean with a super hot shower with as little as like 45 minutes and three gallons of water and then so. i'm gonna hit you with something else and then we'll be done here because i love learning okay? sure sure so yeah. a lot of water has contaminants and stuff is there any kind of filter or a, a screen we need to clean at some point yeah yeah that's a great question so the the user's manual says use clean water but i'll tell you it's really, hard to do when you're getting river water right yeah, yeah and i'll tell you a really cool trick that i've used and i've discovered okay. and we tested so just go to Home Depot or any Lowe's, right. get a drywall sponge for like three bones, okay? okay. You, it's really large and it's super thick. Cut that a little bit larger than the four inches, you know, okay. you just mark your wall, it's hanging out here. Cut the sides and take that sponge and send it all the way to the very bottom. We poured mud water into the geyser and it, the, that huge thick sponge filters that on the way in the pump pulls the water through it pulls through, through that at and, the bottom and, okay and it filters the water along the way and then you can just pull the sponge out and squeeze it out you know what i thought you were going to say yeah put coffee filters here and pour it in you could do that too i thought of that okay yeah, that's yeah. what i thought you were going to say i've okay, actually cool. used my sock no i'm just kidding yeah <laughs> like they're, they're gross right and then you drink your year and after it take cut that part <laughs> And then these are your sponges, 12 yes. volt, wherever they can plug it. If they uh, didn't have a 12 volt, right? Yep. Is there a 110 or not? We do have a converter on geysersystems.com. You, right? you can convert it from 120 yeah. to a 12 volt. Okay. Um, and then in the back of the user's manual, if you want to just hardwire it to any battery, you can just chop that cigarette socket off. There's instructions on how to do that as well. Super, man. I got a really big announcement. Can I share it with your audience? So Look at him, not me. <laughs> So uh, Geyser Systems has been growing. We've been doing a great job conserving water for people, not only in the outdoors, but also for people at home, for large camping events where we've showered thousands of people with our shower stalls. And we got a fourth division that's coming up in 2024 that we're super excited about, but I can't announce yet. Um, at any rate, with all this great growth, we are gonna need a lot more capital. And so what we're making available for the entire community sure. is an opportunity to buy preferred shares of Geyser Systems. The overlanding community is getting that announcement first. You guys are gonna be able to get the shares at a discounted rate. Uh, we're gonna be announcing this on WeFunder next week. And um, we would love for you to grow with us. A large reason why we've had our success today is because of the overlanding community. And we want you guys to be on board our mission of making every drop of water sacred, not only here in the United States, but around the world. So I've got some really high aspirations with the $1.2 million that we're gonna raise. And I say together, we're gonna to make a really big difference. And uh, yeah. Hey, through, what's that website? Yeah. Geysersystems.com. And if you wanna know more about the investment opportunity, either email me at support at geysersystems.com or you can email me at jonathan at geysersystems.com. And these are made where, Colorado? We're 100% assembled in Montrose, Colorado. Nice. And uh, our entire team that's out here in Colorado, they are all experts in the product. It comes with a lifetime warranty, so if you ever have an issue, just give me a shout or give us a shout. And the people that answer your phone or answer your email, they've built this product inside and out. They're gonna help you. And if it really comes down to it, even in the middle of your road trip, we're going to sure. find a way to get another unit to you to get it replaced as long as you please send the old unit back so we can learn from what happened and we can design improvements into the into the next gen of our product. Well, cool, man. And for us right now, we're, we're more informative. At some point, we'll be more like, this is the one. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Absolutely. So yeah. make your decision. Kind of made mine. But anyway, man, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you, Scott. Take care. All right.